So hey guys, welcome to the 6.1 guide for your restoration druid. And we've remained pretty much the same since Warlords of Draenor launch. We did get buffed recently in 6.1 in form of naturalist, naturalist, whatever you want to pronounce that, google it. So we do 15% more damage with all spells and abilities and you might think, well that's not that much of a buff for a resto druid. Yes it is, it's the wrong tab, when you're running Dream of Scenarios, doing more damage with wrath translates into more healing from Dream of Scenarios. So that's the buff. And I want to start with stat priorities. So for your Restoration Druid, you don't really have a shit stat. Haste and Mastery are your best stats. They're essentially the same, but because we get five more haste from everything, haste pulls ahead slightly, right? So what you want to do is get as much haste and mastery as possible. Also Spirit, I will talk about that later. But after that, the choice is between Crit, Multi-Strike and Versatility. Now Versatility is infinitely better if you're running Dream of Scenarios than when you're not running Dream of Scenarios. So yeah, Versatility is actually not that bad for your Resto Droid. You know, the damage increase is nice, the healing increase is nice, both scale with Dream of Scenarios, and the damage taken decrease is good as well. That's very nice as well. So, between those three, get what you can. Alright, it doesn't really matter. Get as much haste and mastery as you can, and if you have crit every now and then, multi-strike, or versatility, it doesn't really matter. Alright, it doesn't. You're gonna be using Dream of Scenarios quite often, crit is good with Dream of Scenarios, multi-strike is good with Dream of Scenarios, and versatility is good with Dream of Scenarios once again. So you don't really have a shit stat, but you want to get as much mastery and haste as possible. Also, you want to get Mark of Shadow Moon as your enchantment. And it's kind of sad that we have to take the spirit enchantment, but we are just we, we are currently having mana problems, alright? Um so that that's just a thing that's happening. So we need that mark of shadow moon. So let's move on to talents. Level 15, it's between Feline Swiftness and Displacer Beast. While Charge is not that great, you need a target for it, which is always a disadvantage, and Displacer Beast is just gonna win because of that. Alright, this does have a shorter cooldown, but Displacer Beast, it's just a blink, you don't need a target. So if you need to move somewhere very quickly, Displacer Beast is just gonna win over Wild Charge. And if you don't need to blink, Tain Feline Swiftness. Simple as that. Level 30, we're gonna take Ysera's Gift. Alright, Renewal and Scenario and Ward is just not viable. Scenario and Ward is only really good for Guardian Druids because it scales with Resolve. That's why it's good for them. Renewal is just a shit heal overall. Okay, heals you for 30% every 2 minutes versus heals you for 4% every 5 seconds. And if you're at full health, it's gonna heal someone else. Renewal is not. Now some druids might take Scenario and Ward, but it costs mana, it's another button which you don't need, and it's not that good. Okay, the target needs to get hit to be healed, so it's just mm, not good. Alright, just take your Sarah's Gift, it's the best. Level 45, generally you're gonna take Typhoon because it can be used as an interrupt and repositioning skills are very good indeed. They're just very good indeed. Maybe if you're running something like Shadow Moon, not Shadow Moon, but again, it's Okin Doom dungeon. The last boss you have the Infernal, you can take Mass Entanglement so you don't have to cast Entangling Roots on him. But <laughs> that's pretty much it. Most of the time you're gonna take Typhoon because you can interrupt with it. Level 60, for me it's between Incarnation and Soul of the Forest, where Incarnation wins like 80%, maybe 90% of the time. I'm still playing around with Force of Nature, but... Uh, you know, it's the new not-so-smart healing. Okay, they're just gonna heal random people, not people you need to be healed. And if you choose between, you know, Force of Nature, which is gonna heal random people, and Incarnation, which lets you explode with love and heal people that you need, you're gonna take Incarnation. Alright, Force of Nature, maybe on a fight where you don't really give a shit. They're gonna save you a bit of mana, they're gonna do a little bit of free healing, but they're not that great. Alright, they're not that good. So... If you don't need that 3 minute cooldown, and maybe if you're running Dream of Scenarios and you are doing this you know, normal standard thing where you're just throwing off Wraths and you're essentially Wild Growthing on cooldown, you can spice it up by Swift Mending before you Wild Growth and you're gonna do much, much more healing through Soul of the Forest. But if you need that 3 minute cooldown, 
incarnation is gonna win and i'm using incarnation almost all the time okay there are very few boss fights in the black rock foundry where i actually do take so the forest but it might suit you better on certain encounters than it suits me level 75 doesn't really matter all right incapacitating roar is shit because you can whiff with it and it just breaks on damage it's a shit spell and it's just bad you know 10 yards what's 10 yards for a healer my T bash is usually to the go-to because once again it can be used as an interrupt because it is a stun and uh, maybe if your tank fucks up and something is hitting you in the face you can stun it and then yell at your tank one while the mob is stunned and he's trying to get back some aggro Ursus vortex is good on a couple of bosses it's good for ad management all right if you need to keep ads somewhere all right why not you can take it okay but it's completely encounter dependent now level 90 in the first guide, I've said that Nature's Vigil is awesome. It is not. It's kind of cool in dungeons. It is all right in norm modes, but heroic and mythic, it just doesn't do much. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't do enough to be a level 90 type. It just doesn't. All right. It just doesn't. And it's sad because it's cool. You know, you're cleaving with your single target heals. No, it just doesn't do enough. So it's between Dream of Scenarius and Heart of the Wild most of the time. And this is the tier where you kind of have to think a little am i running out of mana dream of scenarios am i sure that i will not run out of mana out of the wild it's essentially that this is where you decide your mana is is your mana enough out of the wild is it not dream of scenarios okay this is the first thing after that you have many things uh that help you decide between the two but mana is a big thing all right moment of clarity you're not really gonna take that because germination is just too strong you're you don't really want to take rampant growth either <laughs> unfortunately all right you don't because it eats your mana it just eats up your mana so much it's just not worth it okay you're gonna um yourself very fast and if you have longer boss fights which on heroic and mythic they are pretty fucking long you're gonna run out of mana so neither one of those is good enough to be replacing germination because germination is just awesome straight up if you even if you're not using the second rejuvenation it adds three seconds to your rejuvenation which is another tick before haste is factored in so instead of ticking let's just say 10 times it will tick 11 times so this straight up just gives you boost to your rejuve healing while giving you another rejuve which is great for fights like bracken spore because you can double rejuve genesis and boop Shroom fall, you either have bloodlust or trank from the mushroom. So that's awesome. Right, but level 90 is basically where you decide. Am I running out of mana? I have to take Dream of Scenarios. There is nothing else you can do about it because it replaces your healing touch with wrath. The problem here is wrath is free, healing touch is not. Okay, and even though healing touch is not that expensive, it doesn't allow you to regenerate mana. If you're constantly filling in and you're trying to top people with healing touch, you're gonna run out of mana it's gonna be a problem all right as a resto druid if you're not running dream of scenarios you have to be careful about your mana from the very start of the encounter to the very end of the encounter all right if you're not over gearing it obviously so well that's kind of the thing okay dream of scenarios is also cool because it lets, lets you kind of relax and focus on other things other than you know watching who's low and healing them up because you just fire it off boop heal Boop, heal see there it multi strike so it did a bunch of healing there so it's easier to play with dream of scenarios you're also helping your raid by doing some damage right and this ranges between you know just say 10 minute fight depends on your gear it's somewhere between 1 and 3 million damage okay 10 minute fight i would say somewhere between 1 and 3 million damage which is a lot of damage okay sometimes you just die and the boss is on like 500k health and you're like oh curse you with dream of scenarios you're gonna do that deeps so that's that you know that's dream of scenarios it's just almost mandatory on the longer fights because you just don't have enough mana <laughs> to do healing you know intense healing you just don't with dream of scenarios you probably do now with heart of the wild if you really need that massive cooldown you can take it all right once every six minutes need a cooldown sure i can use it uh, but most likely you will use this 
on bosses that are just straight up gear checks. So far it's like The Butcher or Gruel on Mythic, where you need that extra bit of DPS and you can't afford to do DPS throughout the encounter with Dream of Scenarios because you are essentially global cooldown locked with all the AoEing and blanketing and stuff. So you just tell your healers, look, I'm gonna do damage for the first 45 seconds and you have to deal with it. Okay, I will then have a bunch of mana so I will then pull ahead with some more healing because I do have this mana so you can kind of relax and regenerate mana. And you really need to kind of you know, talk to your healers, but it also works really well if you need that massive cooldown. When you pop this with Incarnation, oh my god, you're gonna explode. Um, so that, that's basically those two, alright? But if you're really having mana issues, which you probably will have as you start going up in difficulty, Dream of Scenarios is almost becoming mandatory for certain fights like Beast Lord, because you just can't go through Beast Lord Mythic without Dream of Scenarios, really. Um, you know, you're gonna be out of mana after about eight-ish minutes, I would say, eight-ish, nine-ish minutes, and you still have that, you know, the hardest phase to go, and you're just out of mana, you don't have pots, and you're kinda like, well, fuck, um, I'm not doing any healing now. So that's that. Uh, with Glyphs, uh, Glyph of Stampeding Roar is fantastic, I run it all the time, I have never dropped Glyph of Stampeding Roar, it's just fantastic. You can just make, s do so much with it. All right, without the glyph, it's like 10 yard radius. That's not much. All right, with 30 yards, if the tank needs to move, the melee needs to move, the ranged need to repos reposition themselves. Can't talk today, apparently. It's just fantastic. It doesn't throw you into bear form or cat form. Just awesome. I love this glyph. Then I'm usually taking glyph of rebirth, but. Here's the but. Um, it really depends whether you're running Dream of Scenarios or Heart of the Wild, and if you have your tier gear yet. Uh, specifically the two tier set. Alright, which is Nature Swiftness now works on the next three spell casts. Alright, so if I cast Nature Swiftness, boop, I have one healing touch, two healing touches, three healing touches, ah, ah, ah. Alright, if you do have this, and you are not running Dream of Scenarios, which means you'll be filling in with Healing Touches, you will run Glyph of Healing Touch. When you cast Healing Touch, the cooldown on your Nature Swiftness is reduced by 2 seconds. And that is huge! Alright, your Nature Swiftness will come off cooldown so fast, it's ridiculous! Just like, boop, 3, th three instant healing touches, then you heal for a bit, oh, 3 more instant healing touches! And this is cool because the healing touches are also free and heal for more. So this will increase your healing by quite a bit. Now if you are running Dream of Scenarios, there is no point in taking this glyph because instead of using Healing Touch, you will be using Wrath to fill in. Because Wrath is free and that's what you're after. You want to use something free to regenerate your mana outside of these either very intense um, phases where you just need to heal your balls off and just eat like 100k mana in like a minute or when you're doing just the standard thing, which is you Wrath, and ooh, this is a thing, so I'm gonna Wild Growth there. Alright, so I'm gonna Wrath some more, and ooh, I have Clear Casting proc, and my Mastery is about to fall off, I'm gonna use Regrowth, and then I'm gonna Wrath again, and ooh, Wild Growth itself of cooldown, you know, and you're gonna kind of be in this state, alright, which is some sort of mild AoE healing, it's not that great, you know, but when you're keeping your Shroom down, it's gonna do some decent healing this way. So, you know, that's that. Now, Glyph of Wild Growth is just mandatory. If you don't have it, all right, not only is it gonna less one, is it gonna less? Is it gonna heal one less person? Okay, it's just gonna heal five dudes instead of six, but it also has a shorter cooldown, which means you will use it more often, which means you will run out of mana sooner. <laughs> All right. So you're if you are not using wild growth on cooldown, you're going to use the same amount of mana to do more healing, but if you are using it on cooldown, you're going to use less mana to do more healing. Okay? So it's as simple as that. This glyph is pretty much mandatory for any kind of raid healing. For dungeons, not necessary because it does heal six people with this glyph. And you don't have six people in a dungeon. So it's that after that, you can take Glyph of Rejuvenation, if you really are going for this just balls-to-the-wall, healing-touch playstyle, you can take this, 
and just keep a couple of rejuves on people, usually on your two tanks, sometimes three in Mythic, you know, and that's going to be enough to give you this healing touch boost. But once again, you will run out of mana much faster because of this, all right? So it's not the best thing in the world, you know. Don't just keep spamming healing touches just to refresh your nature swiftness um, with this glyph and then suddenly realize, oh, oh, in order to get three healing touches, I just lost like, you know, 20k mana that's not very good so keep keep that in mind and after that we have nature's cure which is cool on certain fights but most of the time not too many people will get debuffed so you don't really need those two charges in dungeons and especially in challenge mode it is kind of useful so I forgot a couple of things, which is why I always watch the video before I release it. So Glyph of Regrowth. This removes the hot from Regrowth, which isn't something that's going to cream your pants, right? 669, yeah, that is not going to cream your pants. It makes it just a guaranteed crit, because Regrowth on its own, this is by the way why crit is not very good for a Stoad Raids. It's alright to a certain degree, but um, yeah, Regrowth increased 60% chance to crit. With this, it just always crits, right? So you need a crit, regrowth, boop, and it crits. Doesn't matter what, what you know, it's just gonna crit. Now, this glyph is not recommended when you are using Rampant Growth, because with Rampant Growth, your Swiftment is going to consume your hots. Now, it always prefers um, the regrowth hot to rejuvenation. So you can actually use Swiftment on regrowths which heal for bugger all and keep your rejuvenation on the target if you're using, for instance, the Rampant Growth or the Forest Wombo combo, something like a Challenge Mode or a 5-man. So that's a very good glyph. And the minor glyphs, the Glyph of Sprouting Mushroom, which lets it lets you basically place it wherever you want instead of on a target. Very good. For some reason, it increases the mana it costs to place down a mushroom. Not by much, I think it's about 1k, but it's still there. <coughs> then we have Glyph of Grace, which gives you the uh, damage reduction from falling damage even when you're not in cat form, so you don't have to shift into cat and back, um, you know, if you are about to take fall damage. And then we have the one mana triglyph, which every Restore Droid needs to have, and it's the Griff of the Tree Ant. This increases your swag by about 300%, and it grants you about 50% bonus healing. This is just mandatory, you need to have this glyph. As a Restore Droid, there is no two ways around it. If you're not using this glyph, you're just doing it wrong. Now the spell, some of the playstyle that can kick off your brainstorming and you can kind of figure out what to do. So, there are a couple of rules uh, as a Restore Droid. So, Life Bloom, as close to 100% uptime as possible. Harmony, which is your mastery, 100% uptime, as close as possible, and Mushroom. Yes. So Life Bloom, very good because it gives you this. Free regrowths, yeah, that's always fun. You know, class that has mana issues, you get free spells. Oh, hell yeah. This also refreshes your harmony, okay? Any hard casted single target spell, not a hot, something like a wild growth isn't gonna work. But uh, Healing Touch, Regrowth, and uh, Swiftment, actually. So if I Swiftment here, boop, harmony. So it's Swiftment, uh, Healing Touch, and Regrowth they will give you mastery. So you want to keep your healing touch up because you get these free regrowths and that's always good. It also, you know, it, once again, it's not gonna cream your pants, but it does some healing. So it doesn't really matter if you have it on a tank or not. You can have it on someone else, but just have it on someone. So, Life Bloom. Then we have regrowth, mushroom. The ratio of mana spent on mushroom and healing done is ridiculous. So keep down your mushroom, and then you want to decide. People are taking damage, and there is more of them. Wild growth. Someone is taking mild damage, just rejuve. Someone is taking big damage, regrowth, or healing touches. Now the only difference really between healing touch and regrowth is that um, healing touch takes, you know, 2.2 seconds with my gear. Regrowth 1.3. Now regrowth does heal for less. Um, Right? If, if if it crits, it does heal for more, but Healing Touch can crit as well. But overall, if Regrowth does not crit and you are not using this Glyph, it's gonna heal for less. And Regrowth, 6k mana, Healing Touch, 3.3k mana. So Healing Touch is generally better. So without Dream of Scenarios, you're just keeping your Life Bloom up, you're keeping your um, Mastery ticking, and maybe you are even trying to do both at the same time, because Healing Touch and Regrowth can refresh Life Bloom. Okay, if you cast it on the target, it will refresh Light Bloom, it will refresh your mastery, and that is why, while you're not using the Dream of Scenarios playstyle, you will have easier time 
keeping up mastery and someone is you know trying to talk to me on steam but uh, so it's easier to keep up both live bloom and your mastery at the same time with the non dream scenarios playstyle other than that um, we have iron bark which if you look at the tooltip decreases damage taken by 20 percent 12 seconds tank cooldown yes but if we scroll in our magical spell book also increases the healing from your hots on that target by 20 percent so it's even better so that you have swift mend it just heals people that either have the regrowth hot or rejuvenation hot and if you take the rampant growth it will increase the healing done by swiftment but will also consume that hot it will always favor as i've said regrowth before rejuvenation now with the dream of scenarios playstyle, you are essentially doing the three important things which is keep your life bloom up keep your mastery up and mushroom up and just heal but if there is downtime you're gonna switch to a boss or something and cast wrath every time you have downtime every time there is nothing for you to do cast wrath okay this is your filler spell you're gonna use it all the time okay and the reason why you're still trying to keep up your mastery and uh, life bloom is <clears throat> because it synergizes right so you have this and you're wrathing away right and oh my re my regrowth is procced but i'm wrathing so i can just switch to that this will refresh life bloom and my mastery my mushroom fell off there we go place mushroom it's pretty simple right people are taking damage someone is taking some non-important damage let's throw a regrowth on or rejuve you know someone's taking more damage oh shit people are taking a lot of damage oh my goodness i might jump into a tree form and there we go broccoli form activate oh shit big raid damage tranquility simple as that there is nothing difficult about this all right you have spells those spells do things and they should be used in certain situations as you play your restoration druid you will learn more and more what you have to do in order to cope with these situations but it's not that difficult all right that's pretty much it for the restoration druid and uh, yeah, I don't ask for likes a lot, but on my guides I do, because I want to know if my guides are helping people or not. So if you did enjoy the guide, if you think it was helpful, give me a like. If you think it was terrible and absolutely bad, give me a dislike, no hard feelings. That just means I have to put more effort and try harder in those guides. That's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.